coming to but where you're coming from it's a super special day today because we have got the launch today of the entrepreneur movement video series which is all about where we're heading is about what's the future that we can co-create together but the people that can really do the best job at co-creating their future are the ones that first are really clear where they are before they focus on where they're gonna go. And that's the difference of values compared to vision. And you know, Albert Einstein, he says, try not to be a man of success, rather try and be a man of value. What he's really talking about is the core essence of what is when we decide we're gonna stand for something. Uh, you know, it's really amazing. Most of us, we are so busy just focusing where we're going or what's going wrong or where we've come from. We don't stop for a moment saying, what do we truly stand for? Uh, I'm going to share with you my top three values. I'm asking you, what are your biggest values as well? Uh, and I have some really exciting news of what we are going to be doing with an entirely new values assessment for you to find out what do you stand for? And how do you find other people that stand for the same things for you? How do you create a business that actually has got at the core of it a culture which is value driven? The word value, by the way, comes from valer, which is a Latin word, which means to be of worth. Uh, and that word is where we have other words that show up, like valor, uh, which is to be worthy. Uh, it, it, things that actually allow us to persist, like avail, uh, with the whole idea of prevailing is about actually setting yourself up to already know that you are someone who is of value. Even the word valentine actually comes from Belair, which is about what it is that we love most, that we value most in others as well. So if you start with that thought process, which is what is it I really stand for? What are my values? that I am not going to negotiate, that are, that are my non-negotiables when I actually start looking at my future and where we're going, uh, then what are those words that come up for you which are the most important values? Uh, what I'm gonna be doing is sharing with you that uh, many of you already know that within uh, our six internal values that we have, what I share, three of them out of the four biggest ones are the uh, three that we actually have tests around already. We have our two values at the core of who we are, the things that we go through rediscovering called our core values, which are our talents, you know, what we're great at, uh, and our passions, what we love to do. When we're kids, we already do these two things and we kind of forget them through life. And we've got tests, obviously, the genius test, the um, passion test that already test those two things. Then we have our mid-values, which are things we acquire through life, which are our knowledge and our network. Uh, and that's what our resumes are based on. But too many of us have resumes that aren't linked to our passions and to, our and to our talents and as a result of that we kind of like live an empty life from one job to the next so once we get back to the core of who we are what we love uh, who we are uh, what we do uh, best uh, then we're actually in flow then we build a knowledge and network around that and then the final two which are our key values because the ones that actually open up the door to our future are our purpose and our character uh, we have a purpose test now we don't yet have the values test which is actually based on our character we are going to be launching that as part of our first micro degree. And you're gonna hear about that in the coming months. So I'm really excited about that. But I'm gonna share with you what are my three biggest values which drive everything that I do from day to day. My, and they happen to all start with C, it's just this is the way it is, that my very, very first one is clarity. Uh, and that's why if I've ever mentored you, uh, if you've seen how I run my businesses, the first thing I'll do, no matter how good things are, no matter how tough things are, I'll start by looking to get clarity. Okay, what's really going on here? Uh, you know, what's the things we need to understand or we need to know to be able to move forward? So clarity is number one. Uh, and I'll be asking questions to be able to get clearer on the situation of where I'm at at any point. Because if I can get that clarity, everything else becomes easier, not just for me, but for the teams I'm with or the person I'm mentoring. And then from that word clarity comes the second word, which is curiosity. And curiosity is what allows me to have fun, it's what gets me to really get deeper in terms of any challenge that we've got or in terms of any new idea that I have. Uh, you know, what are different ways to look at this? What's different ways to explore? What's different ways to have adventures? This is all part of curiosity. And it goes way beyond just getting clarity like, oh, I get where we're at. It's like, what are these different opportunities here? What are the different possibilities? What are people doing in other parts of the world as well? Uh, when I meet someone, clarity is not just about really understanding what is of value to them, where do they want to go in their life, uh, it's also about curiosity, finding out more about them, who they are, what makes them tick, what makes them excited. That's all part of the curiosity part, which then links to the third one. Uh, and once you've actually got that whole idea of being clear on where you're going, uh, once you have that whole idea of getting curious, then the third one is creativity, which is really at the core of who I am. It's that real question of how 
can I actually look for new creative solutions? How can we actually work together to co-create something that wasn't there before? Now, of course, we all have different values, but you have three values, which are the three most important ones for you as well. So my question to you is that as you are thinking about today, if you're thinking about where you want to go, what you want to achieve, then the real question is not so much just where do you want to go, it's where are you and how do you create that dynamic between where you are and where you're going, between your values, between your vision, and make sure your vision is now reflecting that person you're going to be, who's actually standing even more for those values. As they say, if you don't stand for something, you're for for anything. So what is it for you? What do you stand for? Where do you come from? Because the moment you step into that space of being that person who's coming from a place of value is the way that the universe then bends to then open up and allow that value to truly shine. And talking about truly shining, have a look right now at the sun. It's just shown up. There it is right there. And so just like in every day, the sun always comes from somewhere. It always rises. And from that rising, we then actually then see how it lights up the world in exactly the same way. The very first video, which today is the launch of in the entrepreneur movement, is the rise of the entrepreneur. It's how every one of us can actually rise just like that light, just like that sun and light up the world. So I will leave you now with the image of the sun coming up on the horizon. I look forward to seeing you on our next video. Look forward to seeing you in the Entrepreneur Movement video series as well. Go book up if you're not part of it. It's a free series and we have some super exciting announcements, obviously, coming up in the coming weeks.